Hey everyone, welcome to Project 586. My name is Dr. Joe Hamilton, but you can just call me Dr. J. That's right. There's a doctor in the house. So, hey, I will be your instructor this session, and I'm thrilled to be working with each and every one of you. So, please go into the course shell and browse around at your earliest convenience. I think you will get excited about not only the material, but what we're going to be covering throughout the project. So, you know, I know this is actually the first for many of us, myself as well, in this new modality both online and on site, but I think it's gonna work really well. And so what I wanna go through right now is take you through the course syllabus a little bit, kind of give you uh, a taste of what we're going to be doing in the class and kind of uh, some of the expectations uh, for you guys as well, okay? So if you get into the course shell, you should be actually seeing my, uh, uh, my screen right now. Um, this is the a little bit of background information about myself. The best way to contact me is actually don't use my phone number unless it's really an emergency, okay? But you can email me either at my DeVry email, which if you just go and hit email in the course shell, or you can just put in my Gmail account. I'm really, really quick on getting back to everybody, okay? So give a little background about myself right now. I am a project manager and a consultant. I consult on uh, numerous, basically, uh, government and FDA projects trying to actually get new antibiotics and drugs uh, to the market. So I've been teaching here at DeVry for about 10 years. I am homegrown. I actually got my master's in project management here at, here at DeVry and Keller. So I know each of the workload you guys are kind of going through and uh, what I had to kind of go through as well. So, all right. So as we get right into it, okay, there are two books in here the PIMBOK, okay, which is short for the Project Management Body of Knowledge. You guys can get this if you really want to. It is optional, but it really will give you a good background and taste of what's going on in this class and what project management is all about. It is not an easy read, so just keep that in mind. But the one book that you, you really should actually get is the ebook, The Project Management Process, Technology and Practice, okay? All right. I'm going down... Uh, you guys will see the course objectives for each week, what we're going to kind of go through. I'm going to bypass those, but what I really want to go through is the assignment summary, okay, so for each week. So there were two discussions in this course, but there's a lot of work. I w just want to put that out there right now. So you do not want to fall behind in this class, okay? We have replaced one of the discussions, right, with an iLab. So what the iLab is, okay, let me show you. So it is going to show you and teach you how to actually work Microsoft Project. As we get through week three and four of the project that you're gonna to have to do in class, you're gonna to have to put together a schedule, okay? These iLabs are gonna show you how to actually do that. And so it take you about an hour or so to do, but just about every one of my students really, really enjoyed the iLabs, okay? Because once you get done with it, right, at the end of each iLab, will tell you if you've done the iLab right. You'll have a screen like this, right, on your project schedule, and you should mirror up to what's on here. If you don't, well, obviously you know you did something wrong, and so we'll talk more about that in class, but take a crack at it. If not, email me, you know, and I'll see if I can actually find what you actually did wrong as well, right, because you're gonna be taking this information learning Microsoft Project, which I've just kind of brought up, right? So this is totally empty, right? You guys will have to fill this out into your, make your own schedule, but eventually it'll look something like this, right? Where you actually have your tasks that are in here with your duration, your start, your finish, how they're linked together, if one comes before the next one, right? And throughout this class, we're gonna be going into part of your projects, right? Of how we even get to this point, right? So. Part of project management and part of the first part of the project, right, in week one, is you are going to be creating a project charter. So that project charter, right, will go into your scope statement in week two, okay? And we're going to go through all of that throughout this project, right, throughout this class. But the one piece you want to go into and how to learn more about what the project is, if you go into the module section, okay, and you look under the course project overview, the course project overview will give you a very good understanding and overview of what the project is all about. We'll be talking about more about this, obviously, in class, in the videos that we'll be sharing as well, in some of the homework assignments that I will be providing as well. So one last thing, okay, and let's go back to the syllabus really quick, is the discussions and the assignments, okay? So 
remember if you if this is your first time at the Vry or Keller, the discussions, okay, you need to be in the discussions at least three times, okay? Three times each week, right? You get in before Wednesday for full points, okay? And you want to actually do a discussion, uh, get into the thread at least every other day. So again, for each subject of which there's only one, okay, you're going to have to get in there three times, okay? And three good quality discussions, okay? And the way I do the discussions, right, it totally relates to how your project is coming up for that week. So you're going to have some really good beneficial information that will help you to complete your project that week as well. So, And as you know, with this new modality, right, we are going to be recording the class. I'm actually going to be recording the entire class because as we get through week three, week four, week five, where I bring the class up to the board to kind of go through some of the assignments, I think you're going to find it beneficial to look back at the recordings to see, all right, this is how you do this. Okay, some of these assignments because it's a lot easier to see it than sometimes just by reading how to do it in some of the uh, in the modules. So, so that's um, the class in a nutshell. So I can't wait to uh, uh, meet each and every one of you as well. And again, I'm going to be recording the class from start to finish, and so I will be recording it starting at 9 a.m. Central every Saturday for our class. All right. So until our first class. Have a good week, everybody.